Hello everybody, today we're going to unbox and take a close up look at the Avantech 8x22 HD compact folding binoculars. So let's first take a look around the outside of the box. So here are some of the binoculars specifications as well as features. So it does have 8x magnification and uses the back for prisms. Okay, so now let's go ahead and open up the box. And let's go ahead and remove the contents from the box. And set them to one side. And then we'll take a close-up look at them once we've removed everything from the box. And always checking to make sure that there's nothing else remaining inside the box. We can now set the box to one side right there and lay the contents out on the tabletop in the middle of the frame right here. Okay, so that's the contents of the box removed. Let's start off by first taking a look at the user manual. So there's some papers And let's take a quick look. So the user manual is detailed in four different languages, English being one of them. So let's have a quick flip through. So basically some operating and care instructions. Okay. And the rest of the user manual is in the other three languages. So now we can go ahead and set that user manual to one side. And then take a close-up look at the microfiber cleaning cloth that it comes with. So it is a silvery grey. And of course it is enclosed in this clear protective plastic wrapper or packet. You can set that to one side as well. And then moving on to the main event, and it's nice to see that the Aventec 8x22 HD compact folding binoculars actually does come with a carry or storage pouch. Okay, so it does have a toggle and a drawstring. Let's go ahead and pull that toggle out to release the opening for the pouch. Let's set the binoculars down and then just take another look at the entirety of the contents right there. And taking a quick look, making sure that there's nothing else left in the drawstring carry pouch right there. Okay. Setting that to one side as well, right there, very neatly. And looking at the binoculars, which comes in a protective plastic bag. Always good to see that the level of care and protection that's provided with optical equipment such as this. So here we're looking at the binoculars from Avantec. So it is a compact folding binoculars. And I'm just going to set it back down again without the bag in the frame with the binoculars, of course, removed from that clear protective plastic bag right there. So you can see that the binoculars is in its most compacted form, nicely folded in with the two barrels right next to each other. And of course, 
it does have a neck strap as well, which I will untangle in a few moments. But just let's take a look around the binoculars first. The way that it's just come out from its plastic wrapper. So in terms of weight, it is quite light. And I'll talk you through the materials as well in just a moment, just giving you an all round look right here from its freshly removed state from the plastic bag. And in terms of size, just keeping it in the palm of my hand, that should give you a very good idea of the size of the binoculars. So pretty, pretty compact, All right? And then with it on my fingers. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the different components. So there is a central focusing ring right there and it does have a very nice firm motion to it or movement for very very fine adjustment you can see just how slow that movement is so it's not loosey-goosey it is nice and tight right there and let's spread the barrels apart to give you a look at the width or spread of the two barrels of the binoculars. So that is at its maximum spread right there. And let me just move the pouch just a little bit more to the left. It doesn't interfere with the foreground right here. Okay, and let's fold it back in to a nice fluid action with the opening or spreading and closing of the two optical barrels of the binoculars. And let's fold it in again, just like that. And looking at the front through the lenses, you can see the clarity as well as the finish of the binoculars. And in terms of material, does have a nice grippy matte finish. So it is kind of like falcon, uh, falconized, I beg your pardon. So kind of rubberized matte covering on the binoculars. Even this central focusing ring as I Turn it all the way down and extend it. So this texture is also rubberized with the central focusing ring. So let's turn it back in as well. So right there, so you can see the extension and just how smooth and fluid that is. And it is very quiet as well in terms of sound, nothing squeaky or rattly at all. Okay, just give you another close up look right there to the level of detail of the binoculars. So they fold once again in 
and out very smoothly. And this part of the binoculars appears to be a matte metal finish, so it doesn't have the same kind of matte vulcanized texturing or covering. This is exposed, but looks like a black matte anodized um, finish on it. So that central frame there, it is metal without the textured covering, what you get on the two barrels and the central focusing ring. And in terms of the eye cups, let's take a close up look. So you can see the finish of the eye cups as well. Nicely finished. And the right barrel does have a diopter focusing ring as well. Well, maybe not as well, but it does have a central, um, a diopter focusing ring. So the action on it is also nice and smooth. there and in terms of the eye cup material it is rubber and let's see if we can fold it back so nice to see that it does fold back so if you're wearing glasses or sunglasses it will allow you to keep them on let's see if we can keep it folded back permanently Take a bit of playing around with. Okay, so the eye cups may be a little bit too, or the lids on the eye cups are a little bit too short to keep them folded fully back, as some binoculars does provide that ability to flip them back and stay down fully but in this case it does not stay fully flipped backwards but it is soft enough to press up against your eyewear Let's take a look at the underside as well. So a nice good look at the underside of the binoculars. So giving you multiple views in terms of the finish and design of the Avantech 8x22 HD compact folding binoculars. So all very, very nicely finished, very light in weight as well, but very solid feeling at the same time. Nice elements of kind of function and form where it should be rubberized. It is rubberized along the barrels for grip and it is textured as well. And then where the central kind of body or frame is anodized metal. And then where it needs to be grippy, that central focusing ring is rubberized as well. And just to show you the size with the barrels fully spread out there, in the palm of my hands and then 
Very simple operation, fully closed now. That's the size right there. Once again, resting in my palm, so. And lastly, let's undo that neck strap there to give you an idea of the length of it. It looks like I might have messed it up right there. And not untangling it in the proper manner. So there we go. Voila. Yeah, make some quick adjustments to the user manual in the background there. So you can see it does have a very simple next strap there to keep in line with its compact form so nice simple neck strap nothing extravagant nothing heavy something nice and light in weight being more functional to suit the binoculars compact approach and design. So that's the Avantech 8x22 HD Compact Folding Binoculars. Thanks for watching and happy watching!